Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Harshal and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So let's start with today's tutorial. It's about printing table data using Selenium web driver. Here is the tutorial. Print table data. Before start, let me explain you how the table is. The scenario is you have to go to the test website, log into the test website with the existing credential or test credential. You can register as a user or you can log in with the test user. Okay. Then once you log in on the home page, you can see I have developed one table here, Selenium table for testing. And you have to just print all the data you can see over here. So this is a table. Let me explain the HTML code for the same. So inspect the table. Okay. So you can see here is a table tag. Inside the table, you can see the table has unique ID EMP data. When I over the mouse, on the table tag the table is highlighted in the table you can see here is a table head and table body so this is a structure of table table head consists the actual header of the table which is hash first name last name and mobile number so you can see here in the table head inside table head which which comes in a row which called tr and actual table head is the th tag hash, first name, last name and the mobile number. So as I am hovering the mouse on this text, you can see the particular column is highlighted above. Ok, so this is a table head and the next is the body which is actual table data which comes with the T body tag. And inside the T body, you can see the different rows are here so which has a TR tag. Inside the TR, you can see the table head, scope, partial, shewal, and the mobile number. That's it. So these are the rows and these are the columns. As you seen in a uh, earlier tutorial, if you want to print the links, we have used the A tag. Same like this, you want to print the table data, you have to use the TR tag. That means it will give you all the web elements which has TR tag. So let's see practically with the Selenium script and print all the data over here. So uh, the scenario is you have to go to the test website, log into the website and print the table data. That's it. Create a new class. Let's say print table data. Okay, now the basic code, I already have this code, I already explained this code in earlier tutorials, let me explain you again. So this is just I have created a driver, Firefox driver, open the website, put the thread dot slip and the basic login code, login code for this two field username and password and clicking on the submit button so this code is here I have put the username password and the submit button that's it then it will wait for three seconds and now the code is for printing the table data same as the link we have to use the for each loop so it's a web element import the web element table data is a variable reference variable I can say inside that use the selenium command or selenium inbuilt method driver dot find elements by tag name and the tag name is the tr that means it will give you 
all the element which has tr tag. That's it, just win table data. Let's see. It's on this program. It has opened the website. Now it will log in. Yes, it is even login. Now it will search for the tr tag and it will print all the tr. Oh, it has printed the table, but you can see here it has print in different character, which is not readable because we have to get the text. So get text method is here, which will give the text on that row. Now rerun the program. Same thing, it will launch the browser again. It will log in to the website. Yes, it's login, and you can see here that's it. It has print all the table. You can see the first name, last name, and all the data which is already here. It has been printed over here. Now, the thing is, like if you want to print the exact row count. So use this like int row count is equal to driver dot find elements by tag name tr dot size. It will give you the size of that row count. That means the size of tr count. Same as the column int column count but for column there is no particular tag so we have to find the xpath so let's find the xpath so we'll get the column count okay so use our tool view xpath for that see if I will give double slash table, it will give all the table here. But I want exactly column. So the column has, you can see here in a table, this is a column, T head slash T head slash table head TH. Yes, so this is the xpath for the column which will give you the count. Driver dot find elements. By tag name, sorry, by xpath. dot size so here is the column name row count is this and for print the column count Now run the program. It has launched the browser. You can see. It will log into the application. Yes, it is logged in. And it has printed the row count is the 7 and column count is the 4. That's it, guys. The row count is the 7, 6 and the head, and the column count is the 4. So th that's it for today. You can get the same tutorial on my website print table data just copy paste this code in your eclipse and you will get the 
actual table data so that's it for today uh, thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel so you will get all the updates thank you